We at Torque uh, we are developing uh, autonomous hub-to-hub -hub trucking. This is the most promising uh, application and business case uh, for autonomy uh, in the field. I, I think the most challenging thing is when you really uh, when, when you work on such great technology as we are, always remind yourself you're building it for a purpose, making customers better, delivering a product. And our TAC is represented um, out of um, let's say about 10 customers from really all different segments uh, of logistics and supply chain. And I think this is really important that we design products that the customers really need and that really add value to them, that they can finally then improve their operations and their businesses. What is the ultimate goal? TAC is really a unique setting of um, uh, having the one and only true relationship between an AV provider and an OEM so that we can deliver a fully integrated product. It's not only the fully integrated design and you see it, how slick it is, and later on you will feel it in great fuel economy, uh, good greenhouse gas economies and things like that. Uh, but it, it, it's also, it's, it's built to be robust, reliable, but also um, at scale. At scale means it's built in, in factories um, at SMP lines. And that usually makes sure that you have a great cost position, but also great quality and great reliability. And nothing can beat an assembly line. And I think we are the, the only ones who can, who can offer this to our customers. And that's what the customers ultimately want. They want a reliable product. Schneider is a great partner for our pilots. Um, it, it's an industry heavyweight representing a really big segment of logistics. Um, and we are learning a ton, especially what does it really mean to have our product out in the wild. It's a distance of almost a thousand miles, uh, so that's really representative of um, a final launch yeah, in terms of which areas you drive through, the different weather kinds you experience, but also the landing and arrival and a lo lot of operations and maintenance you can structure around. CR England again is a great company, um, market leader in their segment. Uh, but also a really strong commitment towards safety. Here we really share one vision. Uh, and it's a really, really good and, and big well, representative segment of logistics. I mean, all autonomy starts with uh, you need to perceive your environment correctly and um, as precise as possible. And here, Algalox just um, adds a ton of value. Um, this are real, it's a rock star team built around uh, computer vision and a AI machine learning. And you know, you can't have enough experts in AI machine learning and computer vision if you want to solve autonomy. So we're really glad that they are part of the family and uh, you know, they, are, they are talkers. There are a ton of examples. Uh, Last time I was really excited, uh, we, we were approaching a traffic jam and how smoothly uh, the truck did. Uh, it was also super dense traffic. We also had to do a lane change and really, um, and really dense traffic. I, I was really impressed how good the truck uh, did it. Another good example, uh, we were driving down the canyon in Albuquerque and it had been really strong winds and, uh, and, uh, and the truck and the trailer got hit by gusts and, and you really heard the noise. Uh, you, you, you felt like the entire cabin was vibrating, but the truck, it was like on guardrails uh, driving. Uh, it's unbelievable. So the system, especially in wind, performs awesome. You heard us saying um, often enough, uh, we think that this technology uh, will be at scale by end of this decade. A couple of years ago, some people thought it's too conservative, but I think we were spot on because we know our business. Um, so it will sneak in in super low volumes or by mid of the decade and at scale by end of the decade. I think that's a pretty realistic time frame.